A very good evening to one and all, and I'm glad to be back at this collaborative learning cafe, an initiative of the Friends of the Jesuits. I know I have been, I have not been of late. I have not been um, really doing much, but I'm glad to be back again. And today. On this World Environment Day, we have a great personality with us, Reverend Father Robert Atikal, S.J., to talk to us on Tarumitra, Friends of Trees. Trees and plants are very dear to me as a botanist. So, I will, I will briefly tell you about Father Robert. Father Robert Atikal is the director and founder of Tarumitra and is responsible for overseeing the activities, initiatives, and overall direction of Tarumitra's environmental movement. Father Robert Article's leadership in Tarumitra involves advocating for sustainable practices, participating in environmental campaigns, and fostering collaborations with other organizations, educational institutions, and government bodies to advance the organization's mission. Father Robert's biggest achievement has been to raise the consciousness of over a million students across the country who came together to set up a bio-reserve, planting over 450 varieties of trees in Patna and have now started similar ventures in five other states. And so, with this brief introduction, without much waste of time, oh. I will hand you over to Father Robert to do the needful. Over to Father Robert. Thank you, Emilia. <laughs> You're welcome, Father. Okay, now uh, I have to introduce my teammates. Uh, there is a Devapriya here. Can can you pop her up? Yes, Father. Okay. Ah. So we have Devapriya, our youth representative at the UN level meetings. And then she is also a person who has been with the working with Dharmitra for umpteen years. And I've created a, 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 she, her own base um, from so many different new schools. And she is a known personality in Patna. And then she welcomes you when you reach the Dharmitra Bioreserve. And she is a very, uh, she has done uh, her uh, uh, M, 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 MA in uh, um, sociology, and uh, uh, she is uh, part of a Patna Women's College. She is uh, their uh, alumni association. Um, so um, she is a, a regular person in Patna, also elsewhere at the. At the um, at the international meetings of uh, the Jesuit um, co-workers and volunteers. So welcome, Devapriya. Thank you, Father. Hmm. And then we have uh, one more person, Pranita. Pranita just finished her beard and uh, she is fresh from uh, the college and uh, she has been working with us for the last many years. And uh, I remember her, she was a high school student. And then over the years, she has traveled a long distance. <clears throat> and then we have um, her with us. Would you say hello? Good evening, Father. Good evening to all. Happy World Environment Day. OK. Good. Welcome, Devo Priya. Welcome, Pranita. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, could we 
from Tarimitra's part, welcome all of you to this meeting. It's a, quite a, a task to be present here. And uh, um, I'm so happy that uh, you all of you are free and uh, jo joining us in this meeting. See, once uh, uh, Saint, uh, Saint um, Xavier School invited me to um, to address the, the alumni association, and uh, I talked to them in Goa, and uh, it's a, it was a fascinating experience, and uh, I came away with uh, so much of nostalgia. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to our friends from Goa. It's an honor to have you with us. And uh, usually a meeting begins with an exchange of floral bouquets. And uh, I share a bouquet, uh, uh, a digital bouquet. And uh, this doesn't do any harm to anybody. So please accept it on our behalf. Therimitra is an innovative student movement to protect the planet. Therimitra Friends of Trees have been busy promoting a reverence for Mother Earth. At various places, we have gatherings and we have celebrations where we tie rakis on trees. <clears throat> uh, students from abroad, from America, they have been with us six months. And uh, that's our uh, background of our uh, bioreserve. The trees, that's a the tallest tree we have at the moment. Started by students in 1988. 1988, how would you recognize that date? Were you born by that time? So, see how old you were in 1988. So students from Patna, they came here and we have uh, this student playing on the harmonium. He is the brain behind the name. <clears throat> the name Tarumitra, Friends of Trees. And as an initial uh, step, they took out a rally of interested students shouting, Ped Karne Wale, Hi, Hi, or a similar slogan. And they marched five kilometers. Tarimitra speaks a language of love for the earth, often expressed in an arti to her. <clears throat> So students like this come, we, uh, Devapriya and uh, um, Pranita, they were busy organizing camps like this the whole summer. Tying Raki is a new custom started by Tarimitra students way back in 1993. You know, tying a Raki on the trees because that's an innovative step because rakis are tied on not on trees but on the birthday's hands. Now the the jump the students made was that the rakis are um, tied on to our birthdays, the trees. Um, could I get a, a, 
in addition on that from devapriya uh the name of the three fathers hello, hello. am i audible yeah yeah you are audible yes you are audible yeah. yes father what what do you ask i can see that okay uh, you can add uh, some um words on uh, the tradition of tying rakis on trees It was in the 90s time that the trees around the each year as cousin, and from also to the whole world is happy. Now it has become a tradition. Not just Rakhi is not having so many other festivals with trees now because we are with Mother Earth. Of late, it has been. for rock now in the picture of also his own august and for month for people of the world day celebrate on the first sunday well then your your mom and again in a friendly the same mahot so the family come and we celebrate edition of uh, along with and and uh, the the thing is uh, that now the students are coming out with better ideas how to buy these and how to treat the trees now not at all using any plastic definitely using biodegradable and edible materials maybe of this. and now since the past three years uh, our environmentally friend from uh, amritsar shweta mehra she gave us the idea that when you are making rakis why don't you put one seed in the rakhi so when you buy rakhis to your brothers okay other cousins also so when after the festival the person throws away the rakhi at least it can take form it can germinate as a tree also you can uh, Tying the trees, some of the school colleges, addressing bricks and them. So this is a very important and a festival very very close to our hearts, and definitely it adds another dimension. What Romitra really advocates is eco spirituality. We are part of the trees. Trees are our family members, and we cannot imagine our life. I mean, there is. no existence without trees and trees are there with us forever trees is a home a home a collective home one common home not only for we human beings but all the species be it insects be it mammals be it animals birds everybody's conservation of biodiversity so tying rakhis tying friendship amulets on trees it means that we are solidifying we are intensifying our relationship a bond of remembrance that we all are together either you are in america either you are in china and uh, yes i still remember i went to lehigh university that is in pennsylvania and even there also the students the students who have participated in internship programs of tarumitra worldwide there also they celebrate rakhi with trees so this bond that we are sharing with mother earth trees now it is not only a state level phenomena it is also a national and right now a global phenomena cherishing the bond of what to say the bond which is a blessed bond a bliss and each and every day now the students are and even the people of various communities language no bar caste no bar everybody is joining in this celebration of mother earth so rakhis friendship days and important days anniversaries they play a very important role of mother earth that we celebrate her we celebrate mother earth this picture if you see this is of patna patna where tarumitra started in 1988 and this is the headquarters also in patna and this school is hartman school hartman school in the year 1988 when tarumitra started in this school itself the first 
Tarumitra Club of the country was formed. Here you can see the girls of Hartman Club, Hartman School. They are uh, tying rakhis around the trees. In most of the schools and colleges, we have Tarumitra Clubs, the Eco Clubs, the Green Clubs, and uh, they have a name also. They also have a name. This year, like in the new academic session, when I visited Hartman School, so they formed the club for the new academic session. And the name of this uh, club in Hartman School is Earth House. Yes, Earth House. And more than 500 students of this school are members of the Earth House Tarumitra Club, where students are right from the primary section till the higher secondary section. Maybe, Father, you can change the slide now. And yes, we have more than 2 lakh student volunteers all over the country, where Tarumitra started in Patna, and now it is spread actively in 24 states of the country. So we have students, we have interns, volunteers, members who are carrying on the eco-friendly programs on a monthly basis, daily basis also, you can say, in various parts, that how we can intensify this global movement, this green movement, and sharing the ideas that we all can celebrate Mother Earth each and every day, 24 into 7 into 365. And we spread the notion that we all are made of five elements, Pancha Tattva. So the significance is that. A small data that I'm sharing with all of you is that once North India had over uh, 1,400 varieties of trees. Just a small data that I'm sharing with all of you in this slide over here. And what has happened of late, that of these, less than uh, 25 varieties are only available in a locality today. So what I mean to say, this data that I shared with all of you on the screen over here, that we are focusing on the word varieties. Trees, they matter to us, but the species also. And Tarumitra is trying to conserve as many as the you can say those species which are on the verge of extinction and those species which are medicinal in nature. For us, quantity is not important, quality is more important. Why only planting those trees which will give you commercial benefit? Why can't we, I mean, save the endangered species also? We have to maintain the web, this, uh, the, the web of life also. So Tarumitra, friends of trees, students are trying to conserve as many of them as possible. That is our main function, the main goal, conservation of biodiversity. So in the headquarters that is in Patna, when Tarumitra started, the Jesuit community and the students, they spotted a place which was a rice field till 1996. Yes. And even now, when the Tarumitra campus bioreserve is there in Patna, we still have the rice field, three acres of that, and we are doing organic farming in that. And we get all the assistance, love, and the support from the students all over, all over the country. And organic farming we are doing, yes. Even our main building over there that was set up in the year 1996 when the place was uh, recommended to us, Tarumitra, the main building, the cottages, all eco-friendly architecture. And when the building was about to be ready, the foundation was laid by His Excellency Mr. A. R. Kidwai, Governor of Bihar. And the gentleman sitting next to him is, uh, uh, during that time, Archbishop of Patna, Reverend William D'Souza. He also came to bless the place. Next slide, Father. And how it started. These are all the realistic pictures of the Tarumitra's green journey, the green caravan. Not only the students, people also from all walks of life Everybody joined in. Everybody chipped in during the formation of the building. At that time, only the plantation was going on. The road was being paved over there. Everybody's contribution. People of all ages, the youngsters, the kids, the elders, everybody. A collective movement. Just now this year in Patna, that is Tarumitra headquarters, we had four summer camps of uh, different, different schools. Even schools came from various states also. So be it summer camp, we, we, and, uh, we call it as the ashram experience, where students, they join us irrespective of class. Sometimes it is the college and school students together. 
doing a lot of activities in the farm, in the jungle, in our bio reserve, doing organic farming. Then also we have camps like uh, winter camps. And also we have camps, day night camps, residential camps, weekend camps. Yes, Saturday, Sunday also. And this is known also as the ashram experience, where in the middle of the city you have a jungle and the students are staying there 24 into 7 for two days, maybe a camp or maybe for three days or a weekly uh, program. And everybody's contribution is there. Everybody becomes a part of that, right from the cook, the cleaner, the teacher, the principal. So they have Kutumbakam enjoying the ashram experience. In the, in the middle of the jungle, you have your cottages, separate dormitories for boys, separate dormitories for girls. It is just like the Guru school system, thousands and thousands of trees. Of late, uh, in Tarumitra, we have more than one lakh plants right now in our 12 acres of bio reserve, which is also known as the green lungs of the city. We have more than one lakh plants now. Yes. And 461 varieties are there right now. Be it the camp, and these are the pictures of the, you can say, the initiation of the Tarumitra days. Group work. Yes, we believe in group work. Because when we are there in group, no, a lot of sharing takes place of ideas. Okay, your viewpoints, suggestions. And that is the main thing that we want. We make some plans, and then, then we work upon it. That is known as the action plan brainstorming sessions. And that's why we believe in diversity, biodiversity, and definitely variety. Let's have varieties. Let's have flora, fauna, species, as many as possible. Why only uh, we will conserve trees? Why can't we conserve varieties of butterflies? There are so many varieties, so many bamboos, honeybees. Let's have as many varieties as possible. And with this stream, when Tarumitra started slowly, slowly, now, as I told you, in the middle of the jungle in the city we have in Patna headquarters, a dream came true, a lush green corner of Patna. Yes, even the, this uh, flower on your screen, this is known as Aprajita of late. It has also become an endangered species, but we are conserving it. Yes, because we don't want to, uh, what to say, locate for these flowers in Google or Wikipedia in future. We want them to see in front of us. And definitely, now Tarumitra, the green lungs in Patna, which is also known as the man-made jungle, the student's jungle, it's a place where we all can breathe natural oxygen. And the trees are there hardly 30 years old, because I, you saw in the beginning that in 1996, that rice field was given to us. And now what has happened? What has happened? The trees have grown so tall and the forest looks so thick and dense. Everybody thinks that it is a thick, thick forest which has been formed million years ago. But my dear cousins, this is a forest only 35 years old because the movement Tarumitra started in 1988. This place came to us during the 1996. 2000, the building was inaugurated. So all the trees are hardly 30 years old. But it looks like a thick, thick forest, dense forest. And we all are in love with the, wilder, with the wilderness, with the thickness of this forest. And definitely everybody gets a lot of ideas about the Tarumitra's architecture part. Today on this special day of World Environment Day, I want to pay my homage to Dadu, late father Joe Perakati, the green architect of Tarumitra. And uh, he made it so eco-friendly using the bricks. Yes, minimal of cementing. And you can see the solar panels over there. Yes, trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. And then we have the eco-friendly, energy efficient building, the buildings over there. The, we call them the cottages. And they have got hollow walls. And we have the cottages in the name of Indian seasons. Architecture is also very unique, which has required very less of resources. Four, four inch gap between the bricks. And when this pattern was followed, what came out? A strong wall. Because the major, you can say, the architecture part is bricks and minimal of cementing. Why? Because cement requires a lot of heat. Yes, it radiates a lot of heat as well. So our walls are mud wash. 
walls protect us from heat the hollow wall stops the heat from warming the building on a hot day we have a difference of 17 degrees in temperature from outside in summer and yes we are feeling it right now in patna over here the temperature is not less than 42 43 degrees and within 48 hours it's going to shoot up 47 degrees 48 and today also the world environment day it was so hot but inside the building we we felt relieved yes because we have reduced unnecessary plastering keeping the architecture in mind when it was being constructed and it has got arches the symmetrical figures why because they are earthquake resistant proof inside the buildings we have used for our window panes the glasses natural colors why so that sunlight moonlight can penetrate and we generate less of electricity we consume less of electricity in the building so let's save electricity as well yes let's save electricity because electricity is also made up of fossil fuels and what is fossil fuels black diamond dead animal remains and definitely tarumitra's architecture is not only just made of bricks and uh, it's concrete and it's also very much inspired by the roman architecture and also side by side we follow the indian vastu shastra also in the past 23 years hardly any renovation has taken place because our foundation is so strong best out of waste and that's why thanks to father robert and father joe they opted for thrown away stones and tiles for floors when tarumitra building was coming up in the 1990s so what i have heard from my seniors from the father from the director founder that he used to take his omni vehicle in the streets of patna and he used to go around the city in his vehicle and used to spot a lot of uh, thrown away marbles granite stones where construction work used to go on and those thrown away stuff father used to collect in his dikki of the omni van and he used to bring it back to tarumitra the tarumitra premises and then the workers over there in our tarumitra they again made use of that reduce reuse recycle repeat polishing them cutting them cleaning them giving them new shape and then again this thrown away stones and tiles that father collected in his van from all over the city the dump yard that was used for making our floors yes you can see this floor over here all best out of waste made from the thrown away granite stones and marble chips so labor cost only employed capital was saved over here conservation of resources is equivalent to generating of resources and not only our flo flooring has been done with this uh, you can say the recycled stones marbles even our bathrooms even our terrace in tarumitra they have been constructed with the help of these so cost cutting not only just eco friendly architecture it's very much pocket friendly also let me go to one more point so during the plastering time the contractor asked for rupees 12000 to plaster and paint a room there so what father robert and his team had, did at that time they opted for a mud wash and the expenses came down to mere rupees 150 just imagine where it was 12000 and just imagine in today's day 20 23 it must be you can say more than 50000 bucks or maybe lakh for just one room i will say and we just used mud wash and it was only 150 and from where this mud was collected this mud was collected when the boring was installed in tarumitra yes so you must have seen that whenever a boring is being uh, installed a lot of mud is dug out and then a lot of cow dung is put in so that mud was used for mud wash just 150 rupees and also we do a lot of recycling even the dirty water from the toilet from the kitchen from the office building that is also recycled our dirty water that is also recycled in a natural way and that quenches the thirst of so many varieties of birds in tarumitra okay all the other living animals there and also helps in the irrigation of our farm and in our gardening purposes also so how this dirty water is recycled you can see in the picture there is a series of five sedimentation tanks in the first tank the dirty water is collected then it goes to the second tank then it goes to the third tank only the net is there so that the solid matter waste can be you can say strained in that and then when the water goes in the fourth tank 
where there we have planted marsh grass yes in hindi this is known as vach ghas and this is one of the world's best wild antibiotic definitely not for human consumption but it what it does it cuts away the bad smell of the dirty water and it also controls the breeding of mosquitoes yes and then finally it goes to the final water reservoir where we have a little aquatic life fish is also there and as i told you that water is again used for irrigation purposes no it's not vetiver grass uh it is uh, marsh grass m a r s h maybe you can check in google you can find out the botanical name also yes so it's a wild antibiotic herb but not for human consumption and yes as i told you that in tarumitra our electricity bill and uh, you can say the for, for the water consumption also thanks to sun god in bihar we celebrate the festival chhat so that is what giving home is to the sun god so we have solar panels with no carbon footprint and yes our electricity is generated our water is also harnessed with the help of solar panels no carbon footprint even the cooking part yes the cooking part also we have the shefler community cooker and which can cook for 50 people at a time you can see the reflector in the picture and in front of that you can see the solar cooker is there and i mean it can cook for 50 people at a time you can marinate you can roast you can grill that's it no need for the lpg gas or you can say another cylinders so entirely eco friendly don't think that the girl is committing a suicide over there i'm just trying to like make you look at that that our water in tarumitra comes from 270 feet deep yes with the help of solar energy water is hardened with 270 feet deep we don't have scarcity of water over there and any water which comes from 150 feet deep also is drinkable enough yes we don't have any aqua guards or water filters in tarumitra even tarumitra's water is has also been tested in the lab, in the lab time and again and that has been found out that patna's water is very much drinkable yes at present uh we have father tony pendanath he is the new director since the past 4 years in tarumitra patna and yes he also says om surya nama because he also believes that sun is our supreme god and thanks to sun god that we have good amount of sunshine which is also the source of vitamin d and we get our good electricity we, we get our good water thanks to surya devta also we have a jal mandir that is known as temple of the earth surrounded by water on all sides that you are seeing and inside this water which is hardly 2 feet deep we have got the catfish yes the catfish and which goes to uh, the jesuit fathers those priests who are in xavier bhavan next to our tarumitra building they are retired priests yes so catfish is being bred over there and inside the jal mandir we have got the holy religious books of all the four major religions bhagavad gita guru granth sahib bible and quran and then there is a painting inside the jal mandir that has been made by father robert and that painting is of mother earth so what is the significance of jal mandir that do we belong to any religion we have only one mother mother earth then again we have this special cottage in which you are seeing the pictures the windows are made of bottles and the name is anita kutir why bottles again because bottles are transparent sunlight moonlight can penetrate and then we have this eco sent toilet you will see the picture on your screen shortly where the human excreta is also converted into manure for our organic farm yes we also call this toilet as zero waste toilet a gift to us from sweden a technology where you don't have to flush generally when we flush 15 liters of water is flushed but here i mean when you sit when you are done little bit of water is used for your cleaning purposes suppose that 5 liter also maximum i'm saying but at least you are saving 10 liters for flushing that out because the fecal matter goes deep and then we have our workers who in a very hygienic way they take care of the uh, you can say the human waste and over a period of time to and a half to 3 months that is converted into organic manure for our organic farm and when we are saving water then we also say that yes it is a zero waste toilet eco sent toilet means zero waste toilet and minimal water has been used yes this is a technology and let me tell you my dear cousins in this digital platform human excreta has got maximum amount of urea 
yes human waste has got maximum amount of urea so why we are going behind pesticides and fertilizers definitely in tarumitra whenever i mean we are having our camps and programs we are eating organic manure so definitely the output is also going to be organic organic food so organic manure and we have a special hall which has a capacity of 150 people at a time this is how that land was uh, thought of that at this place only our hall would be uh, made with a gathering of 150 students at a time today also there was a, a assemblance of 100 students over there when we were doing our uh, environment day celebrations in patna and you can say that everybody's labor over there please don't think this is child labor but everybody chipped in during the 1990s right from the construction and the inception of the hall the name of our hall is also known as shardan hall father robert has given it tribute to dr tr de shardan he was a scientist and mystic follower of mother earth and of that hall the roof has been made of waste paper you can see that bamboos are there bamboos have been used and on top of bamboos it is the waste paper the waste paper has been collected from the schools and colleges yes the waste paper has been collected from schools and colleges because generally after exams i mean uh, the examination sheets they are being sold off so tarumitra requested and we got all those waste, waste paper and then that waste paper was converted into paper mash that waste paper was soaked in water for 3 days then little bit of fenugreek was also added to that so that the termites and white ants can stay away and then this waste paper collected from schools colleges they got soaked and pounded for 3 days that i told you and after that the fenugreek was added to increase the life of this you can see the fenugreek is being added to that paper pulp that paper mash and then this paste was applied on the top of the bamboo roof and thin turpentine sheet was also covered with that so that if during the monsoon time also if it rains cats and dogs not a single drop of water penetrates through our shardan hall so what i mean to say 100 and 200 percent this is completely eco friendly hall minimal of cementing and inside the hall also again the same construction architecture bricks have been used the mud wash has been applied yes that is our screen in that for when we show the presentations using the projector we have applied lime that we call chuna in hindi so only 27 ru rupees was used for making our white screen and it is it just looks like a 70 mm screen over there so this is our home theater in the Shardan Hall of our Tarumitra Patna headquarters. The mud wash being applied by all the volunteers, the senior members, you can see, they all had a good time while making Tarumitra what it stands tall today. This is one of my favorite flowers in Tarumitra and this is known as Sita Ashok. And yes, Tarumitra is home to biodiversity. We have a very, very, very special biodiversity corner varieties of trees as i told you so this is our genetic nursery of rare plants when tarumitra was started so that time governor gave us 34 nurseries and then father robert also distributed it to all those other people who were passionate about uh, nursery plantation greenery and whenever any person comes to tarumitra to purchase plants they always take plants with one thing in mind that yes, we are adopting one more new family member. Since the beginning only, Tarumitra has been campaigning for eco-friendly vehicles. You can see the e-auto over there. When the first one came in Bihar, it was gifted to Patna, electric auto. And now Tarumitra advocates that why can't we have solar charged vehicles? Because electricity also emits a lot of carbon. And you can see that students are ad advocating it. These students are from Mount Carmel School, Patna. We have a very active Tarumitra club over here in Mount Carmel School. Mount Carmel School in Patna is run by the AC sisters over here. Today we had Patna Women's College in Tarumitra today. That is also run by the AC sisters, Avila Convent. They have been very, very, very supportive 
in all the eco friendly activities of tarumitra let's have eco friendly vehicles which can generate less of pollution less of smoke yes because we want at least our city patna to breathe let me tell you i am from patna but i am worried about my own city because patna is the seventh most polluted city in the whole world though i have been campaigning tarumitra all over but my initial responsibility is primary thing is i want to make my tarumitra i know it's it's going to be a ongoing process now but we have to be together and goa province is doing this today i mean what i mean to say that let's all the states of the country we can become role model states for each other let's be as eco friendly as possible in this picture you can see one of my favorite persons father nishan dr father t nishan he is the ex principal of st xavier's college of management and technology patna and right now if i am not wrong he is in boston university and he is teaching sociology over there so you can see he along with the students promoting the e auto we also call it the hawa hawai and tuk tuk and this is inside the premises of st xavier's college patna of management and technology and yes tarumitra's inauguration when the architecture was finally done we did not call any chief guest why because for us the students are our future they are our present so we gave invitation to a lot of schools students came representing various schools and this girl from st joseph's convent uh we did a lottery system she picked up the chit and it was written in that that you are the chief guest kindly do the ribbon cutting and she did the ribbon cutting and she did the inauguration students are our not only future as i told you they are our present also right now this girl ratka parveen she is in dubai and she is a teacher over there and she is in touch with tarumitra and what tarumitra thinks all the time first is act locally and think globally again was with have kutumbakam until and unless we do something in individual level in our own place then how can we talk about and how can we convince another people we are thinking about global warming we are talking about climate change let's do something first then only i can shout shout out then only i can like raise my voice and i can ask people please join us tarumitra never says or never advocates that you have to do this you have to do that it has to come from within with your passion with your fire you can see these are the students of notre dame academy and they are shout shouting out that we want to breathe in and showing some of the activities this is in xavier school delhi so whenever we are doing any plantation outside what we want to do is that we want to give safety when you are doing any plantation please make a barricade also so that i mean they can have safety as well some of the activities also in sikkim sikkim is the first organic state of the country yes and also the first state where plastic has been completely banned maybe sikkim is definitely one of the role model cities for us state for us here you can see uh, a picture from asansol west bengal the students over here campaigning for tigers so actually what they are saying if we have to save tigers we have to save forest it means we have to save biodiversity this is sophia college of bombay where the girls are protesting against the use of plastic no plastic inside the campus of the college i remember dr uh, sister mudita sodder she is also there in sophia college so all these you can say so many memorable campaigns have already taken place in major places all over the country and seeing these pictures that gives us a lot of inspiration and energy and there is no place like nature i am very fortunate to see that father has put this picture from the medical mission in bio reserve bibrawadi pune pune also has you can say a very active belt, belt of tarumitra these are two volunteers from patna if i am not wrong they are from don bosco academy patna and uh, after their schooling they went to bangalore for their college studies and whenever they have time they ke they keep on visiting a lot of institutions schools colleges organizations and their work is same carrying out they are the flag, flag bearers of tarumitra let's have you all, if i am a tarumitra you also become tarumitra taking the green journey forward this is a picture in kolkata no more cards by the loreto students over there loreto convent we have nine loreto convent uh, schools over there in kolkata no more cards 
definitely maybe we can do carpooling maybe if you have shorter distances why don't we do some walking why don't we use cycles e vehicles now this is campaigning in chennai some of the pictures the next picture that you would be seeing is of marina beach in chennai a famous place over there where even a uh, late jail jail alita was also cremated so the local students over there they went and they campaigned in the marina beach itself that don't pollute you come to beach you have a good time but you pollute it please make proper use of dustbins these are the sisters from the nirmala sadan mother teresa house in kolkata you can see everybody joining in their support kolkata the city of joy and yes if i talk about joy so the unlimited joy is the innovative leadership of students what is tarumitra tarumitra is students forum for environment chhatron ka sabse bada paryavaran raksha sangathan you lead it it is your campaign you have thought about it your ideas you execute it and we all are together students are the leaders students are our future they are green warriors and what tarumitra has taught us look at the whole world as a family yes vasudhav kutumbakam i think i am repeating that thing for the third time but it is true the whole world is my family and what is un the un has conferred a special consultative status on tarumitra the biggest family in this planet united nations more than 193 countries they are more than 193 countries are part of this united nations and tarumitra tarumitra has been represented by students from all over the country all over the world and they have represented not only tarumitra their school their hometown in the un and they have met so many world ambassadors all over it's a proud moment where students voices are being heard because they are talking something sense this picture is of new york headquarters the un headquarters is in new york and you can see all the country flags are over there so suppose if the countries are having problem of pollution each and every country so when the problems are common my dear cousins why can't the solutions be common so that's why united nations the biggest family let's come together for mother earth some of the pictures that you are seeing way back in the year 2008 that was of norway if i'm not wrong norway is also known as the land of midnight sun or rising sun i'm a bit confused because right now <laughs> the timing of rising and setting of sun is also not clear because of the global warming the climate changes the extreme weather conditions but this is our international chapter and this international chapter 2005 that tarumitra got the special eco sock status only because of students students have been representing and especially during the pandemic time also online offline both regularly students are representing in norway i'm talking about the year 2008 one of the tarumitra students got elected to the junior board to represent the asia pacific region at the un yes i am in touch with this girl and very much inspired by her and uh, when she represented tarumitra in norway that time she was in class 9 yes this girl in the middle her name is yuvratna shivastav from lucknow and she went over there and she represented her city her school her family tarumitra and the country in general what a proud moment yugratna shivastav and right now she got the scholarship from there after her campaign and she is a big climate advocate over there in this picture you can see uh, she is standing along with other eco warriors and ban ki moon yes sir ban ki moon is also there one time uh, speaker the un speaker what a privilege for her to share the frame with the world leaders the green warriors the youth from all over the globe yugratna shivastav addressed the general assembly of the united nations in the year 19 uh, 2009 and this is how the general assembly looks like all the country ambassadors are there and then there, there are also the language uh, uh, interpreters are also there six languages at a time so language is never a issue in the united nations yes and this girl 13 years old yugratna class 9 you know what was her opening statement 
that was something which got a thunderous applause and she was confident about it and it made the headlines and she was the hero of the month of the un what she said was when you sit here in this air conditioned room and make decisions think of us who are victims of global warming ac hall ac chamber full on lights everywhere full on use of electricity and this girl when she said over there this with this opening statement there was you can say silent like a graveyard because she hit the point she hit the point so what does it mean why we are wasting so many resources she created a ripple by asking three questions there are you all able to hear her questions He is uh, Mr. Jairam Ramesh, a minister, Mr. Ashwin Krishna at that time. i don't know if the audio was audible or not but the questions that she asked was we have to take care of mother earth if not now then when if not here then where and if not us then who in this picture you can see that she is meeting mr al gore ex us vice president and more importantly nobel peace prize winner two inspirational people inspiring each other she was not at all a school topper just a average student but with this passion that yes i have to say something i want to make my voice hear out and just like yugratna so many students have represented tarumitra time and again this is shweta marandi again a girl from patna mount carmel student patna women's college student she carried a campaign to save electricity in the un brazil in the year 2012 she was also crowned as hero of the month so what i mean to say whatever pictures that you are seeing of this young girls and young dynamic leaders over there the eco warriors anybody can be a tarumitra anybody can be a hero you just have to have the believe in you that you can do so slowly slowly when tarumitra i mean started in the year 1988 students came forward with new new campaigns solar energy best out of waste reduce reuse recycling so in the year 2011 we started also experimenting with organic farming and what is organic farming by the way doing farming in in the most sustainable way with no use of pesticide and fertilizers because if we consume that my dear cousins i'm telling you it's a slow poison in this picture you can see we have students we have interns from latin america zamorano university honduras these students are doing organic farming in our organic farm so they also have their own traditional methods so be it in any part of the globe without mother earth we are nothing these are also students from various latin american countries so we have this uh, internship and volunteership the international chapter of tarumitra and yes 2011 when we started with organic farming 2012 we got our first bumper harvest yes the golden harvest of potatoes you can see in front of you and that's our uh, radish over there her name is margaret mulumu she has been a part of tarumitra for a long time organic farmer and in patna for more than 9 years she was there taking part and taking responsibility of the organic farming with no use of pesticides and fertilizers she hails from the northeast region 
Darjeeling, Kalimpong side. And then since 2011, there has been no looking back for organic farming in Tarumitra. We have been doing a lot of experimentation. Now, right now, Father Tony Pendana, the present director, is also experimenting with a lot of seasonal vegetables. This monsoon, we are just waiting for monsoon in Patna, Bihar. And then we'll start our rice transplantation also. And definitely, we are very much media friendly, print media, electronic media. Why? Because we want to tell our farmers the message that we know that with how much difficulty you grow our food. So we should not waste food. We should respect it by eating it and not wasting it. India is home to more than 20,000 varieties of rice. And over here you can see cultivation and harvesting of organic rice. One of the famous varieties is Mirchaya from Bihar, gifted by students from Champaran. Yes, Champaran, that place which reminds you of the Neel Satyagraha. Indigo Satyagra that was started by the father of our nation, Gandhiji. So with this same variety of rice, every year in Tarumitra, we celebrate our Makar Sakranti also in the month of January, the first festival of the year. So the scene would be like this in the month of July, rice transplantation that would be done. And then when the time would be ready after good rain, our harvest would be ready. So the initial time, 600 students, teachers, they joined in. And now this number has multiplied time and again. Where the students, they come to Tarumitra and they take the sickle in their hand and they start doing the harvesting. These are the school students. These are also again from Hartman School. So when they came in, they also said, what great fun. A lot of cheering, a lot of hooting is over there. So everybody enjoys this organic festival phenomena. We call it the threshing festival. Dam laga ke haisha, zor laga ke haisha, dharti mata ki jai. So by doing this, doing by learning, fun all around, a lot of energy is there in that atmosphere. That lady in the hat over there, cheerleading is one of my favorites, Dr. Mudita, Sister Mudita Sodder. So much of energy at that time. This is how involving students in all these organic activities. The main thing is you understand that the food does not come by Zomato and, Swig and Swiggy. Okay. Food does not come home delivery. Food comes thanks to Mother Earth and our farmers. So don't take pesticides, fertilizers. Respect Mother Earth and respect food. That is a blessing. You can see our beloved Margaret, the organic farmer of Tarumitra in action. 40% of the organic manure comes from our kitchen, the leftover food. You can see so many interns from all over the globe. And everybody's engagement in the organic activities of Tarumitra. And seriously, when you are in nature, I mean, what more can you say? You are in bliss. The lady in the extreme left corner is Dr. Uh, if I'm not wrong, she is from Carita, Switzerland. I'm just... Uh, Ah, Dr. Maria Vinegar. Yes. And these are her friends from Switzerland. So whenever like her friends, they come, they always take a trip to Tarumitra because they say that this is one of the best places in India to celebrate nature, celebrate Mother Earth. This is one of the pictures I still remember of 22nd of May. Every year we celebrate this festival. And what is this day all about, my dear cousins? International Day of Biodiversity. Everybody is talking about plastic pollution, plastic pollution. But I think the only solution to pollution is let's start conserving biodiversity. I am proud to introduce my juniors. Yes, these are students from my school, the Montessori students of yeah, uh, Notre Dame Academy, Patna, who are tying friendship bands. Previously, you saw Rakhi. This is friendship, friendship bands, friendship day festival. This was organized in collaboration with Times of India, Patna, one of the major newspaper dailies. So now on monsoon time, I still remember this school came from all the way, uh, Holy Cross School, Bokaro. Yes. And they brought along with them in Patna, Karma Tree. This is, uh, this is one famous place over there in Jharkhand. They brought along with them. And they said that this is a tree for Patna, Bihar, Karma Tree. And how students, they make their protest. 
innovative protest entries were felt by the transport department to widen the roads right now also a lot of work is going on in patna if i talk about metro work is being going on but at the cost of you can say making green city smart city a lot of sacrifice is being done so what do students do when a lot of trees are chopped down the tarumitra students they organize farewell prayer services pindadan yes paying homage to the trees because when the trees are gone soil erosion water table is already down trees are also home to our butterflies to our birds and so many other beings who are dependent on those trees we human beings are to there only so the biggest weapon of the students cry aloud this is also a part of our eco spirituality i still remember in patna 5 years back one fortnight 89 trees were chopped out and the next day 100 students of mount carmel school they boycotted their tiffin and they organized the prayer service they were joined by patna women's college 2000 students and the whole of media came over there and they did this prayer service that time the principal was sister jessie in your screen she is in nairobi right now south africa and everybody protested they boycotted their tiffins next day it came in the newspapers and let me tell you my dear cousins we did not blame anybody we just organized the prayer service for the next 3 years no government activity was done over there yes for the next 3 years nothing was done but after 3 years the boards were put up metro were going on now what more can we do so lot of thing goes on mm -hmm. at the cost of smart city and green city and i can say that at the cost of our human emotions emotions with mother earth i don't think that i i have to speak much about these pictures they speak for themselves this is how we feel no when our family members somebody departs even the local pedestrians also joined us that day they were saying that i mean those trees used to be such huge big shady trees so during the scorching summers afternoon they used to stand under the trees and the parents used to wait for their kids outside mount carmel and patna women's college it was a tragedy that happened in patna in the name of green and smart city about the biodiversity corner you can see again all the pictures are there life on earth is the end result of a big cooperative endeavor if you are saving a tree you also have to save the bird you also have to save the butterfly earthworms everybody why my dear cousins because it is a simple thing to understand they are all pollinators we need everybody's existence to survive this planet mother earth see we are nothing without the trees this is just you can say a skeletal figure skeletal figure of a human form with no life and how how does it get the life definitely trees so the common question my dear cousins just ask yourself can we live without trees capital n capital o we cannot imagine we cannot imagine our life without trees maybe we can stay without water for 3 to 4 days but without oxygen less than a minute and especially in our indian culture we pay homage to trees reverence to trees at right now this moment also it is the need of the hour un's theme this year is for world environment day solutions to plastic pollution i will say the need of the hour is try to understand the importance of trees and biodiversity when we understand the importance then we will try to understand that how to eliminate plastic from our life this is a picture again you can see our cm and forest department officials tying rakhis around the trees we this picture is a powerful message that we have to be associated with trees we need eco spirituality we need connectivity we need to relate us with trees we are one people trees yes and this is 
the beautiful bulbul bird they eat the fruits of the trees and do you know when it eats the fruit chemical secretion takes place inside the stomach and only with the shit of the bird the new people tree germinates yes just like the dodo bird and the silver oak tree dodo bird got extinct and then the silver oak tree also got extinct why because only with the dodo bird spook the next seed used to germinate so without birds there would be no trees so just like we human beings we cannot live without the trees the trees also cannot live without the birds and the birds they also make their nest on the trees they also cannot live without that can you understand the imp the importance the connectivity a symbiotic relationship this is the famous indian maina it is eating earthworms it does not eat pizza it does not eat chow mein it does not eat any fast food biryani they eat insects and worms and where do you will find them beneath the soil so we need birds for pollination and if birds have to survive they need bugs they need earthworms and where do we find the earthworms in the soil so we human beings we cannot live without the birds also we human beings then cannot live without the worms also right and the earthworms they stay beneath the soil they also don't eat pizza right what do they eat Anim animal manures yes which are an important food source for these earthworms they eat living organisms such as nematodes protozoa bacteria fungi in soil yeah that that is their food that is their fodder so it means we cannot live without the earthworms also sometimes they finish off the whole pow the pile of cow dung also they are just like the scavengers of mother earth just like the vultures they clean the earth just go back to our school days and just try to imagine this uh, web of life over there the grass is eaten by the cow the cow herbivore is again eaten eaten by the carnivore tiger balancing each other this is the way of life the acorns are eaten by the mice mice is the favorite of snake and the snake gets eaten by the eagle or the hawk the food chain it has been created by god the mother earth again the cow dung is used for making the harvest of corn fertile again the corn is being eaten by the mice mice again the, is the favorite food of owl carrot eaten by the rabbit rabbit eaten by the fox fox eaten by the lion look at the lion he seems like he is a vegetarian not interested this grass is again eaten by the grasshopper which is again eaten by the frog the frog is eaten by the snake and again the snake is eaten by the eagle a simple way of life you need not be a science student to understand this thing this has been created by god the food chain and somebody famous has said this thing chief seattle a tribe native american in the year 1854 he said human beings did not weave the web of life they are merely a strand in it whatever they do to the web they do it to themselves yes we don't have to do anything we human beings we have only created computer and of late we we human beings we have created that tesla car so just imagine that spider is mother earth we we are not that spider and that mother earth has created that cobweb mother earth worked with many bacteria germs and butterflies a whole year to give us this these flowers right now it is the time for uh, what to say summer we all are enjoying mangoes we all are enjoying lychee the flowers the fruits who gives it this is the famous gulchi right the temple flower all these beauties colors flavors everything is a gift of mother earth and time and again i have been saying this thing and we need to like remind ourselves that we are a part of this symbiotic committee and this spider is mother earth and she has created that cobweb we are part of that we are just mere strands as chief seattle said but right now unfortunately we are going you can say we are running against the time we are not supposed to tamper that we need to bring our students our present generations and the future generations back to the earth we need to be rooted we need to be grounded 
we need to understand that from where we have come yes we have to be down to earth in practical ways we have to understand our existence we all are made up of all those five elements pancha tatva se bane hain marne ke baad bhi pancha tatva mein hi vilin ho jayenge again this time is coming my dear friends who are in this digital webinar over here that's time monsoon time do the rice transplantation yes enjoy it enjoy mother earth in this picture you will see she is the mayor of the city sita sahu five years back this picture of five years back this year again i met her during a function she said that i would be coming again i would be coming again and uh, i want to also participate in this uh, rice transplantation dhan ropni we, we say that in hindi the biggest festival the first festival organic festival of the year and you know whenever we enter the field we remove our slippers and i still remember when she came she uh, took the dupatta on her head she covered her head as showing reverence to mother earth and she started doing it and she is just a class 10 pass she is just a class 10 pass and uske baad she never went to college but even then you just see to her that she is the mayor of the city she has no attitude and she said that i am a daughter of a farmer i have done this thing in my village and doing this i am reliving my my school my childhood days these are the students of st xavier's college of management and technology they were doing the rice transplantation you can see this man one of my favorites he is no more steve irwin okay environmentalist animal lover he also taught his children so just like he taught his children that we have to love mother earth and his children are doing that i still remember his name is also robert robert and bindi irwin so we also have to teach our upcoming generation and children that planting a tree is planting future future for the future generation this lady in the picture i mean she is a famous face all over from the south and she is in the cover page and the topic is that she has planted 384 plus plus trees this is a very powerful picture of a bishnoi community lady where she is breastfeeding her own child and she is also breastfeeding an orphan fawn so she is just like mother earth mother earth is not doing any partiality she is the giving the same oxygen the water to a pakistani she is also taking care of somebody in europe africa antarctica anywhere she is impartial she is taking care of us 24 into 5 into 3 65 why can't we take care of her maybe that would be our biggest guru dakshina to her professor d k jakti from the famous universities of the reputed organizations this is a picture of couple of years back we have this lady ranjana jha one of the folk singers of bihar she came and she sang she told me that devo i want to come i want to celebrate the one mahotsav uh, we are starting in from first week of july in patna over here नेशनल वन महोत्सव और जब हम लोग पौधा रोपण करेंगे तो हम लोग धरती माँ के लिए गाना गाएंगे एंड वेन एवर वी डू द प्रोग्राम इवन टूडे ऑल्सो वी डिड इट वी स्टार्टेड आर डे टू डे वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट डे इन तरु मित्रा विथ परफॉर्मिंग आरती टू द ट्रीज प्रेयर फॉर मदर अर्थ एंड देन एट द लास्ट द ग्रीन प्लेज आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू प्लांट सिक्सटीन ट्रीज इन माई लाइफ टाइम बट इफ आई प्लांट एटलीस्ट वन ट्री i take full responsibility that as my guardian as my family i will take care of that plant i don't know that i would be able to take care of all those 16 but my commitment is individual responsibility first then only collective responsibility ma tujhe pranam dharti ma i would like to say it's not happy world environment day my dear cousin happy world environment days each and every day days hours minutes seconds moments every moment we take in our pran vayu oxygen and this should be our major concerns biodiversity conservation 
we need to have more and more of bio reserves all over the country we need to have more nurseries larger nurseries with more varieties of species organic farming is the key to the future i'm telling you yes. a healthy future and then definitely um, save electricity i can't hear you can you hear me father Uh, yeah, you and are yes, audible, building sir. a bond, eco spirituality, workshops, not only with students but as many communities, as many peoples as possible. Connectivity is important. Let's celebrate Mother Earth each and every day. Wherever in which environment we are, in which ambience we are, in which part of the world we are, let's celebrate Mother Earth. Happy. World Environment Days, cousins. Happy World Environment Days. Thank you, thank you for patiently listening to me, and thank you, Father Robert, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Deva Priya. Deva Priya, thank you very much for the beautiful way you presented Taru Mitra, and uh, you did it in style. And uh, um, I realized that Pranita was behind you, um, but then uh, the timing is a tricky thing. We have to complete. We have finished our time. Yes. Um, yeah. So, any questions? Frederick, sir, can you just moderate yeah. the question, sir? Yeah, yeah. So there are just uh, a couple in the chat box, and if anyone else would like to ask more, they are welcome to ask. uh one question is is it possible to start tarumitra groups in other parts of india is there a starter pack to start these groups so how to how to how uh, to pack okay uh, this is a, a question people ask usually um my, our response is uh, why not you start a group um where, where there is no group and the advantage of joining tarumitra is a it's a we are joining an international alliance so you have your voice will be heard across so that's a special provision we have so you join us become one of us and speak on behalf of us just just a suggestion father in case uh, it is possible to create some starter pack you know where where the how tos maybe just two or three pages could be given and what are the areas of course it was a very interesting presentation by both of y'all and uh, you know it helped us to learn a lot of things but maybe that starter thing could could help people to get ideas if they are not listening to you uh, in direct contact also another question do you have tarumitra in bangalore sure we have bangalore Uh, we have a Saint Joseph's School, Jesuit High School, and Devapuri. Are you even there, Bangalore? Devapuri, there is a question asked. Uh, if there may is I a... uh, just hear hear the question once more, Bangi? Yeah. So the question is, uh, do you have a Tarumitra in Bangalore? I think Father Robert is the best person to answer. I have been there visiting some schools. Father, please answer this. So we have at least four, five schools in Rajasthan, and uh, they have they have host uh, Tarimitra events, and uh, um, we have the Cluny schools, we have the Jesuit schools, and then we have also the CJ schools. and the notre dame schools 
it's 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 a very nice concept and uh, also what you all shared gave us a lot of ideas of what is possible and and i wish uh, you know this could reach out to more teachers though i'm sure savio would have uh, you know kept a record of the talk and uh, hopefully share that also uh if anyone else at this stage would like to ask questions feel, feel free to use the chat box or even to unmute yourself and interact i think professor emilia with a vast experience in botany is the right person yeah. here yeah yes i think it would be a good idea if we could start uh, something uh, uh, start a group of tarumitra in goa i am sure there would be many people i think it's a pity i think some people like when could not join it would have been uh, good because there are many people who are doing a lot of uh, activity in this type of work in goa but if you could collaborate together it would be nice oh yes we we maybe. must look at yeah we must look at this as a starting point maybe yeah yeah yes father simon used to uh, work with us on and off um yeah i don't know which group he is associated um yes father simon from bretos yeah we Brito, know yeah gar yeah father if i could just uh, step in here you know i think uh, it's a it's a fascinating concept and uh, we had a little bit of experience in the past with one of these technical networks called uh, linux india linux users group okay and their approach was anyone anyone can form a network anyone can form a network we suggest that you have this name and you are you are free even two persons can form your own network you all are free to do your own activities these are the proposed okay. you know you can look at what the other groups are doing you can uh, copy reverse engineer any one of those which you want to and then you can take it forward also so that way it was like a crowdsourced movement you know where where from the grass grassroots up just a suggestion yeah any no, other questions feel free to because we are the church bells are ringing in my village and it's reminding me it's 8 o'clock yeah but we are in not we are not in a hurry if anyone needs to ask please feel free to in case not then we would really say a big thank you both to father robert atikal and devopriya datta who have done an excellent job devopriya uh, gave us a very nice introduction especially and father uh, robert got started so much uh, thank you the opportunity sorry sorry someone is asking hello devopriya ma'am told thank you so much okay 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 thank you thank you once again and uh, good night to everyone uh, it was on this day 2 years back exactly 2 years back where the first talk on on uh, the collaborative learning cafe started oh. and uh, yeah it, during the pandemic there were a lot of takers now our numbers have gone down a bit but the talks are as relevant and we gain from the best of knowledge across the country mm -hmm. using this online model thank you father thank you devopriya okay. and also no, yeah this collaborative cafe yeah. learning cafe that is uh, that question that uh, phrase is uh, interesting enough so father provincials father provincials name it was his name so he, yeah. he we we wanted to keep it free and open free free and open to everyone regardless of you know no boundaries in that sense and no charges mm. so yeah. father provincial uh, came off with the idea of collaborative learning cafe we collaborate and learn okay Mm. i think the talk was excellent and motivating and it has helped us to deepen our understanding for the need to conserve and take care of our environment and i'm sure if pranita also could was to speak she might have told us some more things yeah it was thank you father thank you devo priya yeah, yeah. thank you so much and a very nice combination of uh, various slides and uh, ideas and feels like architecture and uh, you know botany and so many plants and diversity and environment ecology so many different sectors thank you so much and wishing everyone good night mm. good night good night good night thank you father bye yeah yeah good thank night. you Emil, Emil, emilia yeah very welcome sir yeah, you have done a good job thank you father thank you father yeah
and emilia will be a person who would understand us because yes, she is a brother a botanist your father am a taxonomist taxonomist ah. yes father i am a student of father palitanam ah okay and i named named a plant after father uh, this well that from uh, saldana ah from bangalore okay ah father saldana jo jo saldana i got a new plant and i named it after him na ah, okay <laughs> okay he was a he was a giant of a man yes father he's got yes. the herbarium in the st joseph st joseph st joseph herbarium yes father okay